So next I am going to discuss some problems in relative velocity. You look at the problem on the screen. The velocity of one body, capital A, with respect to another body, capital B, is 10 meter per second towards north. If the velocity of the body, capital B, is 6 meter per second in direction 37 degrees south of east. Find the magnitude and direction of the actual velocity of the body, capital A. You can observe that. In this case, you are asked to find the actual velocity of the body A. That means you are not given the actual velocity of the body A. Because you will not be asked for what is given in the problem directly. That means you are given the first velocity given there is the velocity of the body A with respect to the body B. That means you are given the relative velocity of the body A with respect to the body B as 10 meter per second towards north. And next you are given the velocity of the second body B as 6 meter per second in the direction 37 degrees south of east. You have to find the magnitude and direction of the actual loss of the body A. So look at the solution of this problem. In case you want to try it yourself first, you can take a pause and try it. Otherwise look at the solution of the problem. Now see, coming to the problem here, I have shown on the screen, problem number 3. You are given the velocity, relative velocity of the body A with respect to V at 10 meter per second towards north. And you are given the velocity of the second body B at 6 meter per second in the direction 37 degrees south of east. So, can draw a diagram showing the two given vectors graphically here. Now here you see relative velocity of the body A with respect to the body B. I denote it by V bar subscript A comma B. That you can write V A bar minus V B bar. <coughs> Here V A bar is the actual loss of the body A and V B bar is the actual loss of the body B. Means V A bar is the velocity of the body A with respect to stationary observer on the earth and V B bar is the velocity of the body B with respect to the stationary observer on the earth. You are asked to find the actual loss of the body A. You are given the left hand side. That means you are given the relative velocity of A with respect to B as 10 meter per second towards north. Next you are given the velocity of B as 6 meter per second in the direction 37 degrees south of east. So from we can carry minus V B bar to the other side. You can write vector sum of V B bar and V bar A B equal to V A bar. That means actual velocity of the body A is the vector sum of the relative velocity of A with respect to B and velocity of the body B. 
So I show the given vectors graphically. I choose the horizontal direction towards east as the positive direction of x-axis. And the horizontal direction towards north as the positive direction of y-axis. That means the horizontal direction towards south will be in the negative direction of y-axis. So relative velocity of A with respect to B denoted by V bar subscript A comma B acts towards north. That means along positive y-axis. So its component along x-axis will be zero. Therefore, the relative velocity of A with respect to B can be written as 10 J cap meter per second. Now, velocity of second body B denoted by VB bar has a magnitude of 6 meter per second. That is mod of VB bar equal to 6 meter per second. Mod of VB bar VB equal to 6 meter per second. And it makes an angle of 37 degrees with east direction. Of east means the angle is with east direction. And inclined towards south. So this angle is 37 degrees. So you can resolve the velocity vector VB bar into two rectangular components parallel to X and Y axis. Further, you can construct a rectangle with adjacent sides parallel to X and Y axis such that VB bar acts along the diagonal of the rectangle. So this component will be VB cos 37 degrees. And this component will be VB sin 37 degrees. So in vector form, the velocity V bar of a particle can be written as Vx i cap plus Vy j cap. So in vector form, the velocity of B can be written as Vb cos 37 degrees into i cap. You can observe that. The component with magnitude Vb sin 37 degrees is towards south, means in the negative direction of y-axis. So you can write as plus Vb sin 37 degrees into minus j cap. J cap is in it vector along positive y axis minus J cap is in it vector along negative y axis. We can substitute V B equal to six meter per second here. Cross thirty seven degrees you can take about four by five. 
Again, you can substitute VB equals 6 meter per second, sine 37 degrees equals 3 by 5. So we'll substitute this value of VB bar in this equation. So actual loss of the body A is the vector sum of velocity of A with respect to B and velocity of B. V bar subscript A comma B represent the relative velocity of A with respect to B, which you can substitute as 10 J cap meter per second here. And you can substitute this value of V B bar in this term. Therefore, you get actual velocity of the body A equal to 10 J cap meter per second plus this term becomes 24 by 5 I cap minus 18 by 5 J cap. Of course, this will be in meter per second even though I have not mentioned on the right side. You can try to simplify this further. So this will be equal to can consider the y components here 10 minus 18 by 5 so 24 by 5 i cap plus 10 minus 18 by 5 into j cap meter per second this can be simplified further to find the actual loss of the body a Those who want to copy the solution of the problem, they can take a pause and copy the solution of the problem. So as we got the here, the actual velocity of the body A, we got 24 by 5 cap plus 10 minus 18 by 5 J cap. This you can simplify further. 24 by 5 I cap plus 50 minus 18 by 5 J cap. That can be written as V A bar equal to 24 by 5 I cap plus 32 by 5 j cap meter per second this you can write taking the common factor there can take 4 by 5 into 6 i cap plus 8 j cap meter per second this you can write in the form Vx into I cap plus Vy into J cap. Here Vx equal 24 by 5 meter per second, Vy equal 32 by 5 meter per second. That means Vx and Vy represent the rectangular components of actual loss of the body A with respect to the body B. So the actual loss of the body A with respect to the body B has a rectangular component of magnitude Vx equal to 24 by 5 meter per second along positive direction of x-axis means towards east and it has rectangular component of magnitude Vy which is equal to 32 by 5 meter per second along positive direction of Y axis means towards north. So if we complete the rectangle by representing the two rectangular components Vx and Vy by the adjacent sides of the rectangle 
the diagonal represents VA bar. That means actual of the body A. So here, let us suppose actual of the body A makes an angle theta with a positive direction of x-axis. Now let us complete the calculation of magnitude of velocity, Fa. So mod of Va bar will be root of Vax square plus Vy square. That you can, 4 by 5 can take common outside. The two components. And the root of 6 square plus 8 square meter per second. This you can simplify it further yourself. It comes out to be 8 meter per second. To find the direction, you have to find the angle theta. In the figure, you can observe on the right-hand side, theta is the angle with the velocity, actual loss of E makes with the positive direction of x-axis, tan theta equal to Vy by Vx. That will be 4 by 5 into 8 by 4 by 5 into 6. So you get tan theta equal to 4 by 3. As I mentioned in the past, sine 53 degrees equal to 4 by 5. Cos 53 degrees 3 by 5. So tan 53 degrees will be 4 by 3. So you get theta as 53 degrees. That means actual velocity of A makes an angle of 53 degrees with x-axis. That means with each direction. So what angle it makes? With the north direction? Usually, we try to mention the smaller angle. So, 90 minus theta. That is 90 minus 53 degrees will be 37 degrees. So, 37 degrees with north and 53 degrees with east. So, you can write the answer as 8 meter per second. In the direction... Thirty seven degrees east of north. So the actual loss of the body A is eight meter per second in the direction thirty seven degrees east of north. You can also tell the answer the other way, 8 meter per second in the direction, 53 degrees north of east. So those who want to copy the solution, they can copy the solution of this problem. They can take a pause and copy the solution of the problem. So I am going to discuss this problem also by the alternate method, that is by using the parallelogram law of extradition. Now I am going to discuss same problem by the alternate method that is by using the parallelogram law of addition of vectors without using the component method. You are given the, in the problem you are given the relative velocity of one body A with respect to another body B 
as 10 meter per second towards north and you are given that the velocity of the second body b as 6 meter per second in the direction 37 degrees south of east you are asked to find the magnitude and direction of the actual velocity of the body b you are asked to find magnitude and direction of the actual velocity of the first body a you are already given the magnitude and direction of the actual velocity of the second body b so just like in the earlier method here also the relative velocity of the body a with respect to the body b can be written as v a bar minus v b bar v a bar represents the actual velocity of the body a you can draw a diagram showing the two given vectors the velocity of the body a with respect to the body b denoted by v bar subscript a comma b which is directed towards north and relative velocity relative velocity of the body a with respect to the body b is denoted by v bar subscript a comma b which is directed towards north with this magnitude 10 meter per second the velocity of the body b has a direction 37 degrees south of east that means the velocity of b makes an angle of 37 degrees with east direction inclined towards south now we can write just like in the earlier method here also we can write actual velocity of the body a is the vector sum of velocity of b and relative velocity of a with respect to b now if you take modulus both the sides and we can use the formula for the magnitude of the vector sum of two vectors p bar and q bar so magnitude of the vector sum of two vectors p bar and q bar root of p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta here in place of p bar you have v bar substitute ab in place of q bar you have velocity of b so the angle between p bar and q bar will be equal to how much 90 degrees plus 37 degrees so it modulus of the actual velocity of a will be root of p square means square of the magnitude of relative velocity of a with respect to b plus q square means square of the magnitude of velocity of b plus 2 pq cos theta 2 vab into vb cos of the angle between p bar and q bar means 90 degrees plus 37 degrees so magnitude of the velocity of a with respect to b is given at 10 meter per second magnitude of velocity of b is given at 6 meter per second vab equal 10 meter per second vb equal 6 meter per second cos 90 degrees plus 37 degrees will be how much minus sin 37 degrees so this will be under root of 100 plus 36 
so minus of 2 into 10 into 6 into sin 37 degrees is 3 by 5 So you can simplify this completely yourself. That comes out to be eight meter per second. Cutting the parallelogram of action. That means actual of the body A is equal to. Vector sum of v b bar plus v bar subscript a b that you can write as p bar plus q bar. That means here p bar is equal to v bar a b, q bar equal to v bar subscript a b. Then you can use the formula for direction of the vector sum of p bar and q bar. That is, you can use the formula tan alpha equal to q sin theta by p plus q. cos theta so if alpha is the angle made by the vector sum of p bar and q bar with the first vector p bar then tan alpha i can write mod of q bar into sin theta means sin 90 plus 37 degrees by p plus q cos theta That is mag of p bar plus mag of q bar into cos 90 plus 37. You can simplify yourself from this step onwards. Can write mag of p bar means mag of relative mass of a with respect to b. You can substitute it as equal to tan beta per second. Mod of q bar or q equal to velocity of b six meter per second, and substitute these values. You can find the value of alpha. If you complete the parallelogram, by representing the two vectors p bar and q bar graphically. By the adjacent sides of the parallelogram. Such that tail of vector p bar is attached to tail of vector q bar. Then the diagonal of the parallelogram passing through their point of intersection represents the vector sum of p bar and q bar. Here p bar plus q bar gives you v a bar means the diagonal represents the actual loss of the body a, which makes angle alpha with p bar with an north direction. You can try to simplify this yourself. You can write mod of q bar means mod of loss of v six meter per second. Mod of p bar means you can write ten meter per second. And simplify it to yourself. I've done similar problem earlier class also. You try to proceed it yourself. Simplify this part. Sine ninety plus thirty seven degrees will be same as cos thirty seven degrees. That is equal to four by five. As we have written, cos ninety plus thirty seven is minus sine thirty seven degrees. That is minus three by five. So here you have to denominator. You have to substitute cos 90 plus 37 equal to minus 3 by 5. The numerator sin 90 plus 37 will be cos 37 degrees. That you can substitute it as 4 by 5. And simplify this yourself. Come on, do it yourself. You are supposed to get tan alpha equal to 3 by 4. That means alpha will be 37 degrees. That means actual loss of the body A makes an angle of 37 degrees with an opposite direction and inclined towards east. So magnitude of the actual loss of A is 8 meter per second. So answer is 8 meter per second. 
in the direction 37 degrees east of north of course answer will be same by either method if you want to copy the sol all solution of the problem with alternate method you can take a pause and copy the solution so look at the next problem earlier i have discussed problem 3 I have discussed problem number three by two alternate methods. The next problem is also similar to the problem three. You see the next problem. A man. That is problem number four. Moves at 10 kilometer per hour on a bicycle towards east. The wind seems to blow. with a velocity of 6 km per hour from the direction 60 degrees south of west the magnitude of the actual velocity of the wind in km per hour is look at the options multiple choice options i am giving multiple choice options for this question first one 16 second one 4 third one 14 fourth one 2 root 19 you can take a pause and try this problem yourself first so i am going to next also show you another two problems on the screen based on the i mean on the relative velocity which you can try yourself first so that in case you get the answers you can skip the next class In the next class i will be discussing these three problems that is i have shown problem number 4 you can try this in yourself if you want to time you can take a pause for 2 minutes 1 or 2 minutes and try this problem you are supposed to get the answer as 3 that means third option means 14 km per hour next you look at the next problem problem number 5 to a man moving along horizontal road at at 2 km per hour the rain drops appear to fall with a velocity of 2 root 3 km per hour at an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal from the front find the magnitude and direction of the actual velocity of the rain drops you can try this problem yourself first can we want to can take a pause and try this problem so you are supposed to get the answer for this problem as 2 km per hour at an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical from the front 
again i repeat axle arm sorry 2 km per hour at an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical from the front okay even if you don't get the answer you need not get worried i will be solving this problem in my next class but you i am going to show you one more problem now after looking at the sixth problem also you can even try the sixth one the sixth one will be more easier compared to the fifth problem you can try it yourself it is similar to the fifth sixth problem is similar to the fourth one you can look at the problem number 6 and man moving along a level road with a velocity of 3 km per hour the rain drops appear to fall vertically downwards at 4 km per hour find the magnitude and the direction of the actual velocity of the rain drops come on you take a pause and try this problem yourself first you can take a pause for one or two minutes and you can try this problem is much easier compared to the earlier problem and you should probably you some most of you will be able to do this come on right now so you are supposed to get the answer for this problem as 5 km per hour at an angle of 37 degrees with the vertical from behind you are supposed to get the answer for this problem as 5 km per hour at an angle of 37 degrees with the vertical from behind okay in case you got the answers for the last three or four three problems you may skip the next class you can directly go to the another class where i will be discussing about motion of a boat across a river there is a general method to find the time taken by boat to cross a river when you are given the speed of boat relative to water and speed of water and some special case based on that but of course i will be discussing first these three problems 4 5 and 6 in my next class first in case you got the answers for these problems you can skip my next class and go to the class later for the motion of boat in a river